What is going on everybody and welcome back. Actually, welcome to the very first episode of Copycat Cocktails. Now, if you guys did see the little teaser trailer, we actually made that way back in October or November. I don't really remember. And, uh, you know, it was okay, but I think we could improve upon it and do a little bit better. So that's what we're doing this week. We are bringing to you the very first episode of Copycat Cocktails. And this week we are making the Hippopotami Tai from Trader Sam's and the Lapu Lapu, which uh, by a strong request from a lot of people, uh, it seems to be pretty popular. So that's what we're gonna do today. Let's do it. All right, cool. So we're gonna start out with some fresh citrus juice. We're gonna do some uh, lime juice. This is one place, the fresher the juice, the better. Usually, depending on your lime, it's about one lime. Uh, however, this one, we're getting about an ounce. I think you got about an ounce. Yeah, yeah. with our first one, make sure we top it up here. And today we're gonna use shaker tins. However, you can use blender bottle you could use a martini shaker pretty much anything you can use to shake up a cocktail yeah yeah the next thing we're going to use is a half an ounce of agave nectar it's just a to act as a sweetener you could use simple syrup or you could also use just table sugar i would just dissolve it in some hot water and then the next ingredient is going to be um orjo or orge or yeet or or, or got <laughs> um it is an almond uh it's an almond syrup oh Sticky. Um, so we're gonna do a half an ounce of this as well. Uh, so the next ingredient is going to be uh, a half an ounce of orange curacao. All right, so the next thing on the ingredient list is gonna be our rums. Um, so the some of the recipes use um, straight two ounces of a rum. You can mix, that's what we're gonna do here. Just kind of play with it, like do it to your taste. This is what's gonna make up the majority of the cocktail. So really, um, this is where a lot of your, pra uh, your flavor profiles are gonna come from. Uh, so we're gonna start out with an ounce of white rum. We're using Bacardi here, uh, but again, you can use whatever you can find at your local store. And then we're also gonna use a uh, Myers uh, dark rum. Uh, we're gonna do an ounce of that as well. Um, you can use something a little bit lighter, but try to find uh, some Jamaican dark rum, maybe some spice rum would work good as well. So we're gonna do an ounce of that. And that's gonna make up our entire cocktail. So now all we've gotta do is shake this over ice. And anywhere from like 10 to 15 seconds is gonna be perfect. There we go. Awesome. And of course, the Hippopotam Mai Tai would not be the Hippopotam Mai Tai without the Hippopotam Mai Tai glass. Um, and we've actually got two of them. We actually made this drink already in the first one. So this is actually the second edition from Trader Sam's itself. And uh, actually some of this ice was already crushed up. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Right at the top. Perfect. Right at the top. So. Smells fantastic. Smells exactly like Trader Sam's. Mmm. That's good. I like it. Yeah. These drinks are awesome. It has a little bit of a, of an orange, almost a citrusy taste to it, which I really like. It's not. Um, you can definitely taste the rum in there, but it's not so overpowering that it um, that it burns kind of going down. It's smooth. Absolutely. I think that's from the orge or orgeat. Um, it's that syrup, that almond syrup. Right. It kind of tones down the acidity, yeah, quite a bit. Awesome. So the next yeah. drink that we are going to make now is the Lapu Lapu, which, let me tell you, uh, is <laughs> actually a fairly simple drink to make except for the pineapple part. So we actually went and shot a bunch of this stuff, uh, obviously in high speed earlier for the kind of like cool slow-mo B-roll stuff. Um, Josh did all of the cutting earlier, so I'm actually gonna go and cut this time. 
and uh, do the best that I can. <laughs> so, uh, which knife did you use earlier? This big one? I used that one, yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Uh, we're gonna do about what do we do? Like about an inch, two inches down. Yeah, inch, inch and a half. Yep. We're gonna cut that top right off. Save the top. I'm gonna stick it over there in the bowl for right now. They do make this thing. It's called a pineapple corer. Or -er -er -er. Uh, we don't have one of those. I was hoping Publix would have one, but they don't. So we're gonna use a knife, and you're basically just gonna cut down through it, and try not to poke a hole through your pineapple because. If you poke a hole through your pineapple, it's not a cup anymore. It's not a cup. So after we basically cut around the sides, we're gonna cut down through the center parts here, kind of like making a checkerboard. That's the best way that I can think of to describe it. And the whole reason that we're doing this is just because it's gonna make it easier later on to spoon it out. And I just thought, as you look down there, do we not have a bowl for this? We don't, but we can use that large mixing tin and then we can put it in the bowl. We don't have a spoon. <laughs> Oh, you have the scoop. We're so unprepared. Oh wait, do we have the scoop? Yeah, you have the scoop right Where's there. The scooper? And you also have like a vessel you could put it in. If you wanted to put it in that. Yeah. Pyrex dish. Here we go. I was making fun of Josh earlier because I was like, ah, oh, it can't be that hard. It's just the core. That core is what gets you. So we have got the pineapple. It is now all cored out. I would say try to get it down there probably by about this much, probably three, three and a half inches down. It's about a three and a half, right? Or is that four? That's quite a bit, yeah, that's about four. Yeah, four. So um, just because you want to make sure that you've got enough to be able to get the ice, uh, we're serving this with ice, right? Yes, absolutely. You're going to serve it oh, um, when you, you're not going to strain it at all after you shake it. So just all the ice and everything's going to go in. If you're making this at home, this might be something that you want to do uh, before you actually start making drinks. We are going to uh, start out with our dark rum. Uh, we're gonna use Meyer's dark rum. Again, you can use uh, whatever you can find at your local store. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna do an ounce and a half. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is a half an ounce of orange curacao. Uh, we switched to Cointreau here because we think it's a little bit sweeter than the other that we used. So we're just gonna do a half an ounce of the Cointreau and we're gonna do a half an ounce of orge and i will say with tiki drinks it does help to measure otherwise the rum can get a little bit out of hand so i will say i think at tambu lounge they get a little out of hand with the rum to begin with i would agree but we'll see um so one thing to keep in mind too is that if you want to do uh as josh said usually fresh squeezed stuff is usually better um we're just going with regular orange juice right now so this is not sponsored by tropicana I just bought it because... I mean, unless they want to... Oh, that'd be great. Yeah. All right, what are we doing? An ounce? An ounce of that. I was a little over. You still want to have fun with it. All right, and then the um, next thing we're going to do is some sweet and sour mix. We're going to do two ounces of this. So now we are actually ready to shake this drink. Golly, I hate yeah. doing this stuff. Man. And you're just going to shake it up. You can do it. You can do it. I, I don't know how people do this, like. You just kind of embrace that you're not gonna look cool. It is super cold as well. And this is also the moment of truth on whether or not your pineapple has holes in it. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no holes. Awesome. Um, so before uh, we do the last step, I'm actually gonna have Josh cut into the top of the pineapple. Look at that. Bang. We're gonna put a little bit more rum. Oh, that's right, I forgot about that. What goes best with rum is more rum. At Tambu Lounge, they will put a rum float of 151 rum, and that's 151 proof. We're not gonna do that here uh, because we have to do other things. And you certainly could if you want. Yes, of course. So we're actually gonna use a really nice five-year uh, Jamaican rum. We're gonna so eyeball it. Yeah. Coming from the purse, I, I I couldn't tell you what a half an ounce even looks like. Yeah, you're just gonna do whatever you want. Close enough. We're gonna just kind of fill it to the top there. Like an now the lid. All right, so yeah, now the lid. If you've got a cool Mickey straw or something, um, you can throw that in there. These, I, I don't like these. I think these are the worst. They're too small. Oh uh, yeah, there we go. It's good. It's definitely not too strong. Uh, you know, I, I think that that's the thing for me when I get a lapu-lapu at Tambu Lounge, it's so overpowering with the rum. 
uh, that it's it's yeah. it's almost too much to drink. This is actually very smooth. It's light. I will say I did see one recipe for pie, with the pineapple juice. And I think maybe next time it might be worth trying to uh, take the core. Well, not just take the inside and puree that into a oh, juice yeah. and maybe mix some of that in there as well. I think it'll add a little bit more of that tropical fruitiness to it because just the orange juice, um, I think it could just use just a little bit more. Yeah, I agree. But it's still fantastic. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We will have another episode coming out here very shortly. Um, probably maybe do one just about every week. And let us know down in the comments below what you guys thought, uh, if you enjoyed the episode or not. If you didn't, uh, well, too bad, because we're probably going to make another one anyways. <laughs> so uh, next week, we might not do all Tiki drinks. We might try something new. Um, if you guys don't know, a lot of stuff is getting released at Disney Plus, so we may try to do something that is inspired by. And it's really all dependent on whether or not the liquor store will be open. And if it is and we can get stuff, we will do it. So two copycat cocktails. Awesome. This is, this is not enough. You just got to. No, you just got to go for it. It's real strong. There's lots of room. There's a floater. <laughs> Woo! Oh my gosh.